What's up, guys? My name's Owen, and welcome back to the Bet Fender podcast. And in this episode, we are reviewing the 2022 Fall Talladega race. So, before the race started, uh, the only thing that happened was uh, Noah Gregson went to the rear for something that I they didn't say on the broadcast, so. So, with that being said, at the start of, so for stage one, it was 60 laps. Uh, uh, Christopher Bell and Martin Truex Jr. starts on front row. Then Christopher Bell leads the first lap. Then, um, a little while later, Landon Castle had a pass-through. Oh, uh, no, before the race, um, Landon Castle failed to pass inspection, so he had a pass-through penalty. Now getting to the race, uh, it was typical Talladega racing, quick back and forth for the lead, um, a little while into the run. The third lane started to form. Uh, then when that happened, Daniel Suarez took the lead. Um, then Tyler Reddick, he pit, which started uh, the green flag pit stops. And on the green flag pit stops, Cody Ware spun coming into the pit. This is not the last time we'll hear of him today. Uh, then during the stops, um, Kozlowski had a too fast entering penalty. Uh, during the stops, also, uh, Cole Custer took the lead. Um, then during that round of pit stops, uh, Ross Chastain had a too fast entering penalty. Then Kyle Larson takes the lead. After all the stops are done, then Bubba Wallace and Kyle Larson trade the lead back and forth. Then coming to the last few laps, um, Daniel Hemrick spins and uh, hits Chris Busher, or no, he hits Chase Briscoe. And they collect Chris Busher, bringing out the first caution of the day, and all three of them are out of the race. And with that, um, Bubba Wallace wins stage one. And at this point of the race, four cars are out. And six cars are laps down. Yeah. Uh, start of stage two. It's another 60 laps. Uh, Kyle Larson won the race off pit road there. Um, then Kyle Busch had a loose equipment penalty on that stop. Um... Eric Jones took the lead uh, on the restart. Then Greg Biffle, uh, his car just dies. And so he s stops on track and brings out the second caution. And Biffle is out of the race. So off this round of pit stops... Um, William Byron won the race off pit road. Um, a little while later, um, BJ McLeod spins, hits the wall, or no, he spins and he loses a tire. Right, this was like right after the, the next restart. And that brings out the third caution. And then the big one happens. 
Yeah, the bit the the big one of the race happens. So off this initial restart, um, everyone's battling for position. Then Joey Logano spins off of Bubba Wallace in front of the field, and he collects Austin Sindrick, Ty Dillon, Chase Briscoe. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Cole Custer, Daniel Suarez, and Todd Gilliland. All were involved in this wreck. And for the ones who didn't make it through were Joey Logano, Ty Dillon, Daniel Suarez, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Harrison Burton. So, that was the fourth caution of the race. Now, when they go back to green, William Byron and Martin Truex Jr. trade the lead for a little bit. And then Cody Ware blows a rear tire and he hits the wall, bringing out the fifth caution. And Cody Ware is out of this race. On this caution, a few cars pit. Um, and on this one, Christopher Bell had a too fast entering penalty, and that will end the stage, and William Byron wins the stage, and Hendrick went one, two, three, and five. And on this, after this stage, there were 13 cars out of the race, and only one car a lap down. Now, going to stage three, which is 68 laps. Eric Jones won the race off pit road. Then Kyle Busch and Eric Jones kind of trade the lead back and forth for a little bit, with Kyle Busch uh, regaining it. Then a couple a little while later, Ryan Blaney win, takes a lead. Then a few seconds later, Bubba Wallace takes a lead. Then Eric Jones takes the lead. And then they flip flop back and forth for a little while with uh, Wallace coming out on top of that. Then the another round of green flag pit stops happen. And Corey LaJoy takes the lead. Which that's the first time I've said his name. In a positive light. <laughs> and not him crashing. This year. Then. As they're coming out of the pits. Kyle Busch and Christopher Bell. Or Kyle Busch hits Christopher Bell. And. Christopher Bell goes for a spin. It stays green. Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead. And Kozlowski gets his second too fast entering penalty of the day. After that, Kyle Larson takes the lead. Then um, a little while later, Kurt Busch, uh, as Denny Hamlin was kind of dropping back, Kurt Busch kind of slows down and lets uh, Hamlin into the line. So he lets his boss in. <laughs> then uh, Eric Jones and Kyle Larson tried the lead for a little bit with Jones coming out on top. And going into the last couple laps, Denny Hamlin runs out of gas, so he has to go pit. Um, then Kurt Busch hits, uh, Bubba Wallace, or he hits the wall, and then Bubba Wallace hits him, and then Corey LaJoy just spins coming to the line, and at the end of this, Ross Chastain 
wins his sec wins his second race of the year. And the top five for this race were Ross Chastain, Austin Dillon, Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, and Martin Truex Jr. It was definitely a chaotic finish to this race. But what super speedway race isn't chaotic on the last turn? On the on like the race to the line. It's Talladega, baby. Other than like the final little bit. It wasn't the most interesting race, but I still kind of like it's a super speedway. I kind of liked it. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. And we will see you next week uh, for Dover. So I'm going to end this episode here. If you like what I do, consider liking and subscribing. And we will see you next week. Peace.